When the police come, let you know what their intent is uh, before they, <clears throat> as soon as they open their mouth, whether it can go well or it can go bad, based on whether or not they're having a good day. And uh, I, for one, just uh, I'm tired of having my stuff taken without, without the ability to uh, defend myself, or at least have a, uh, an opinion that matters. Um, most, rec most recently, uh, we were given tickets, one of which was a bicycle in the park, so it leads me to believe that if they take each one, one of the things that they have preconceived notions, and it's uh, almost way up on the fly, where the bicycle on the grass um, was the only thing that they had to stand on. Tickets are given during feeds, which, you know, church, churches will come down and uh, feed homeless, requiring them to leave their belongings wherever they're set up. That's what's so important has come down. Not always, but enough that it makes you question their intent. Thank you. My name is uh, R. Joshua Collins. I'm the founder of the Facebook group Homeless Advocates for Christ. So any of you can join that if you'd like. I'd like to read 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Verse says, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So if you've been saved, of course, you're not, you know, God has set you free and Give you a new life, but if you're not saved, I encourage you to give life to Jesus before it's too late. There's a heaven, there's a hell. Jesus died for you. I encourage you to live for Him. I'm very disappointed to see that June is, is made the, the homosexual sodomite month and all of that, LGBT month. Shame on all of you for approving that because God doesn't approve of it. It's like you're shaking your fist at God and asking Him to hit you, you know, when you do something like that. So it's an embarrassment. You know, I really, really feel bad about that. And also, <clears throat> regarding the homeless, I have a question in the city of kindness. Is it kind to give a homeless man a ticket for having a bike in the park? That's what's happening. Is it kind to give homeless women camping tickets while they are with their property in a public park? That's what's happening. Exactly what happened on May 12th at Maxwell Park around 2.30 p.m. Sergeant Bob Conklin was one of, the tic one of the ticket givers out there. And now June 30th, these homeless people now have a court date thanks to the homeless outreach team, quote unquote, in the city of kindness. Is it kind to rob the homeless of blankets, medications, and other property, and refuse to grant them a safe place of rest? Is it kind to tow a homeless woman's car? That's what's happening in Anaheim. Is it kind to trample on the rights of the elderly and the poor, and ignore their Fourth Amendment property rights? Is it kind to waste millions of taxpayer dollars on non necessities such as the Arctic train station and then ignore the basic shelter needs of the homeless on the street? Was it kind for you all to pass a law that allows you to take the homeless people's property? Please don't tell me you are uh, kind. Actions speak louder than words. Jesus says in Matthew 25, verse 41, Then he will also say to those on the left, Apart from me you cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then also they will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, I surely say to you, as much as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Can you get Paul, can you 
Thank you for your time. Thank you. 